All right, uh, let's look at the homework 12.4, uh, problem number 9. All right, so this is a torque problem. All right, so you have a pedal, and uh, its shaft um, is uh, 16 centimeter long. So uh, here, so I'm going to think of, try to uh, look at it as a vector. So this is going to be the uh, center of the uh, pedal. And then uh, go to the edge where the, the force is applied. So I'm going to call this uh, uh, shaft vector, say vector R. All right. And the length of the, it, this is uh, uh, 16 centimeters, so which is uh, uh, 0 0.16 meters. So we're going to have, I'm going to call, let's see, the abs, um, the magnitude of uh, vector r is going to be uh, 0 0.16 uh, meter. All right. And then you have this force, uh, force vector. So I'm going to call this force vector F, right? And the angle in between uh, would be, uh, if you can kind of extend this uh, this way and extend this uh, shaft uh, this way. And you can see that, that this is equivalent to 70 degrees plus uh, 10 degrees. So this is um, uh, 80 degrees, right? And uh, so torque, right, uh, torque uh, can be found by, uh, so torque vector is going to be a shaft vector cross product with the uh, force vector, right? So in this case, uh, torque is going to be uh, oh, actually, we're looking for the magnitude, so we have to take the magnitude. So it's going to be a magnitude of the cross product between the shaft vector and the force vector. Right? And we know that, that this can be found by finding the magnitude of uh, shaft vector R and the magnitude of the force. And then we multiply by a sine of theta. But uh, in this case, the ang uh, angle is 80 degrees. All right? So uh, the length uh, is uh, 0 0.16. So magnitude of uh, vector r is 1.6. All right? Multiply by, and the force is uh, 60 newtons. So it's going to be 60. And then multiply by a uh, sine of uh, 80 degrees. All right. So uh, let's compute this uh, using a calculator. All right. Uh, first thing we should do is probably go to mode. And um, uh, let's see. Oops. Uh, I didn't go to mode. All right. And let's I'm going to clear that. Go to mode. All right. Make sure that the degree is highlighted. All right. All right, so let's compute. Uh, we're going to have a 0 0.16 multiplied by uh, 60 multiplied by sine of uh, 80 degrees. All right, and hit enter. All right, it came out to be 9.45 and so on. And uh, let's see, uh, around to one decimal place. So it's going to be 9.5. So you have a 9.5. All right. So uh, let's type it in. All right. So we have a 9.5 uh, joules, I think. Actually, no, not, not, not actually joules. Uh, Newton times n. All right. Let's check the answer. All right, uh, I came back and looks like uh, we got this one correctly. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.